Hey kids! In today's video, we will be learning about the life cycle of plants. Are you ready? Let's begin! The life cycle of a plant describes the stages through which a plant goes from seed to maturity and back to seed production. Here's a simplified explanation of the plant life cycle. Seed stage The life cycle of a plant typically begins with a seed. Seeds may remain dormant until conditions are right for germination. Factors like moisture, temperature, and light trigger the seed to start growing. Germination Germination is the process by which a seed begins to sprout and grow into a new plant. When conditions are favorable, the seed absorbs water and swells. This activates enzymes within the seed, which kickstart the growth process. A tiny root, called a radical, emerges first, followed by a shoot that grows upward toward the light. Seedling Stage Once the seed has sprouted, it develops into a seedling. At this stage, the plant is small and fragile. The seedling relies on stored energy from the seed to grow. It develops leaves to photosynthesize and gather energy from sunlight. Vegetative growth As the plant continues to grow, it enters a phase of vegetative growth. During this stage, the plant focuses on growing roots, stems, and leaves. The plant's roots expand to absorb water and nutrients from the soil, while the stem supports the plant and transports water and nutrients to the leaves. Leaves continue to photosynthesize, converting sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide into energy for the plant. Reproductive stage Eventually, the plant reaches maturity and begins to produce flowers. This marks the reproductive stage of the plant life cycle. Flowers contain reproductive organs including male parts, the stamens, and female parts, the pistils. Pollination occurs when pollen from the stamen is transferred to the pistil either by wind, insects, birds, or other animals. Seed Production After successful pollination, fertilization occurs and seeds begin to develop within the ovary of the flower. As the seeds mature, the flower may wither and drop off, leaving behind the developing seeds. When the seeds are fully mature, the plant disperses them, either through wind, water, animals, or other means, allowing the cycle to begin anew. And thus, the life cycle of a plant continues. And that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed learning about the life cycle of plants today. Take care now. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more videos from us, please click the subscribe button. Also, give us a like. That will help us. We thank you so much and we do hope that you enjoy our videos. See you soon!